celebration does begin within. So many people in this world think that celebration begins by a certain date on the calendar or that special things are happening to us. And then, then we can celebrate. But every day should be a day of celebration. A cause to celebrate is your connectedness with God. Now you've heard the saying, life is what you make it. That means that you have a choice. You can choose to have a life full of frustration, full of fear. But, this is the big spiritual mastery. You can choose just as easily to have a life of joy and contentment. It begins within. Thoughts held in mind produce after their kind. In the book How to Let God Help You, author Myrtle Fillmore says, the visible universe is but the externalization of thoughts. Well, your life, it begins within you. In the Bible, in Proverbs 15, verse 15, it says, a miserable heart makes a miserable life, but a cheerful heart fills the day with song. Your life should be a cause for celebration. But sometimes we don't feel much like celebrating. In fact, when the weight of the world seems to bear down upon our shoulders, celebration may be the last thing on our minds. We think we'll put it off for another day. And then those days seem to be put off longer and longer. But they shouldn't be. This day, right now, is a precious gift from God. It is a day for you to use the spiritual power that is with you to do a spiritual experiment. This day expires at the stroke of midnight. Don't you let it pass. Decide that this is going to be a day of joy and contentment and make it that way. And give thanks every single hour for this time on loan from heaven to you. Celebrating each moment and filling each moment with song. God created you in God's own image, and God wants you to experience joy and abundance. And God will do God's part to ensure that you know spiritual peace and comfort. God's love and life God has given you are ample reason alone to celebrate. Today, refuse to give in to those old thoughts of misery. It can be an addiction that is as painful to the human body as drugs. Choose instead the health of a cheerful heart, for God has given you a cause to celebrate and those causes to celebrate are so manifold in their blessings that I pray that once you begin, you won't be able to stop.